Hey guys, how's it going? I am Ken83, and welcome back to Decidedly Neapolitan. Or, or rather, welcome, not welcome back, because this is episode one of season two. Um, yeah, some of the other guys on here are way ahead of me uh, on that. Oh, can you sleep? I thought you wouldn't. He just told me that he wanted to keep it night because um, he was hunting spider eyes. Uh, <laughs> kill. 15 spiders, then was shot by a skeleton. Okay, I can see why I might want to uh, sleep the night through. There's um, some burning zombies out here, I think. Ah, there he is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me, sir. Ow! You're massive and burning me. Okay. Interesting. Right. So, yeah, this is uh, where... We are living, um, yeah, on decidedly Napoleon, um, inside joke there. Um, Key has moved in over there. We've got some guys, we've got some new people on the server. This is awesome, it's actually quite active. Um, this is a little farm that uh, Mort has built for us, Dra Dragol Mar, he is in game. Um, but yeah, we got some guys from the Colony Craft server who have joined us. Uh, which is pretty cool. We got Kingy living over there. Uh, we got this sheep here. Hi, sheep. He's only got half a heart. We'll uh, take advantage of that, I think. Um, yeah, and I think a bit further up, Germ has moved in. Um, he's talking about coming up somewhere near me, so hopefully we'll do a bit of collabing at some point. Uh, over the back, that way somewhere. Oh, there it is, I think, through the trees there. I haven't got, um, I haven't got, what's that thing called? Optifine, that's the thing, uh, installed at the moment. So I can't zoom in to show you, but that's Pixel Riffs over there. I think that must be Germ right over there. Um, Biran has uh, sort of made a comeback. Um, and he's up there. He's built a house on the edge of the cliff, which is quite interesting. It's kind of like those um, those mountain climbers that have their tents that they get halfway up the mountain and then decide to have a kip so they put a tent up and kind of hang. Um, but yeah, he's got a big cave system inside there that he's uh, going to be living in or living out of. I don't know quite which way to put it. But um, yeah, we have made residence up here. Um, I've put a little signpost uh, saying up to Cain's. So hopefully that's pretty clear. And I made this awesome stone staircase up the face of the cliff. I thought that was really cool and, you know, nice and treacherous. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased about that. Hopefully we can uh, spruce up the entrance a bit. We might even do some of that today. Um, although I've got some other plans. I uh, started going the wrong way down there, so there's an extra few steps. Maybe we can put like a little um, balcony for eating or something down there. Uh, but yeah, so this is this is home, and uh, this is all of the stuff that we just dropped when we died. Let's pick it all up again. Lovely. I think we have got it all, and then we can uh, go through and one, two. Three, four. There we go. We are protected once more. Uh, so yeah, I uh, dug a hole. Everyone else has done these cool houses, like uh, Kingy and B Ran have done these kind of um, sort of complicated builds. And Pix has gone. Uh, he's done his kind of pixel art. That's without any. Uh, I called it pixel art. I think on Neapolitan. No, this is Neapolitan. On vanilla. On decidedly vanilla. I think I coined the term pixel art without an E to describe his building style but yeah it's cool that we got this view we can actually see the top of everyone's houses and I really love that um, so yeah we can see the community around us I think this area is going to evolve quite significantly and I, I really hope it does because that's gonna look cool um, this tree is weird all the leaves have burnt off um, I think more rescued what's left of it when he first signed on but yeah we're, we're cohabiting with the spirit of fire mountain um, so placed and named by Pix um, yeah but these these guys have all done nice uh, nice houses and I've dug a hole uh, so yes yeah, pretty much business as usual so far um, now I planned for this 
Cool. For this to be the smeltery, because um, obviously the first thing you've got to do in modded is uh, get yourself a, a tink Tinker's Construct smeltery and get yourself some decent tools. Um, so yeah, I figured uh, I would build that and then I'd start building a little kind of system of rooms and stuff down below. But I've actually kind of changed my mind about what I'm going to do and I've got some ideas, um, one of which I've dug that this, that way for. Uh, I need to keep going with that but I've just broken my last stone pick. need to mix some more. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go see how far that way I can go and uh, what we can make of it. So yeah, it's, it's going to be quite exciting having uh, Germ's going to be up above us I think or maybe over to one side. might ask him to go just a bit over so if I want to go up I can. Uh, but it does mean that the smell tree is not going to go here, these new plans. But I kind of need the smell tree to do it so I think I'll build it here and then move it later on. Um, so let's get cracking. I have already been out and as you can see I have got myself, there it is, lots of gravel, lots of clay and lots of sand. I doubt it's going to be enough because it never is, um, but we'll give it a go. I have no idea, oh there we go, look we got <laughs> a pick already set up, uh, ready for us. So we will pop uh, that, that and I don't know if this has to go in a specific pattern. No it doesn't. So. Oh, there we go, we got quite a lot of grout. Now I think, do you have to cook that? I think you have to cook that uh, in order to make it into bricks and then divide it again by four. Actually, I need a, I haven't built a thing yet. Also, there's this um, noisy water sound. I think it's water, it's kind of like a digital water. which is really bugging me, so we'll get this on and smelting. Uh, let's pop it down here. Uh, I'll put that in and then we'll put in wherever it's gone, grout. And maybe now we'll see if we can find the source of this noise. Well, I guess I'm going to have to uh, ignore that for now because I cannot for the life of me find it. Uh, let's get a bit more of this coal because that's always going to be useful. And then uh, we can get building our smeltery. Right, let's get rid of that uh, death because we know that we died. Cool, and see how we're getting on with this. We have 26 so far. You uh, can't argue about that. What can we get? Uh, no, I haven't. I'll come see. There's Kingy. Nice house. Oh, wow! Oh, he's awesome! Hello, my friend! <laughs> he's cool! What does he do? Many varying things. Oh! This is scary. Ow! I like that hover block, that's really cool. Ah, okay, so they're kind of like a, a ranch hand. Does he ride a steel horse? <laughs> Don't know if King will get that reference. <laughs> So what did I run out of? I've got sand, I've got clay, so it was gravel that I was uh, low on. Uh, but we'll see how far we can get with what we've already got. With any luck, we might be able to get a basic smeltery going and then we can uh, we can use cobble to make up the rest. 
that's the plan at least but I somehow suspect because you get tons and tons of materials and it's it just whittles it down into almost oh no don't blow up don't ow oh griefing's off I forgot phew jeez I really panicked then oh he's got a present for me I forgot that um you're at the door I don't know where you are so I'm gonna have to go back down again to find out what this present is now we'll meet him half oh there we go there he is <laughs> they will if you break the door Ooh. Thanks, Kingy. That's really kind. <laughs> I am now. <laughs> Your laziness is recorded. <laughs> Hello, YouTube, says Kingy. Um, did I f finish telling you? Yeah, we got Colony Craft guys, so Germ, Kingy, and Wee Beastie is on here as well. I don't know if Beastie's got a house yet uh, or anything. I've not seen if he started recording. Most of these other guys are already on episode 2, and I've only just started episode 1, so um, they're way ahead of me. But yeah, what were we doing? Um, oh, Biran's joined. Hey, Biran. Uh... Let's make these into seared bricks. We've got 13. That's not bad. Uh, so let's pop this down. Nine. And we need one, two, three, one. Cool. You know what? There's a small chance that we might actually be able to do this with what we got. I really was not anticipating being able to. Okay, so we got uh, everything we need out of normal bricks now. Uh, which one? Skylers. There we go. Let's read this because I can't remember how to make a controller. Uh, so let's. There we go. Controller is. Okay, all around the outside. And a tank we need as well, don't we? Don't we? Don't we need a seared tank? We need somewhere to put fuel, I'm sure of it. Okay, well let's build the controller. I think, uh, yeah, we've got more than enough at the moment. So, around there. Uh, let's pop that there. And I'm pretty sure that we have to have a tank. Can we? Yeah, there's nowhere to put fuel in there. So we're going to need a tank. But that's not in the book. G sticks, barricades, we've done grout. Seared bricks and smeltery controller, we've done. And then it's a book. Materials in UV2. Mighty smelting. Okay, I think we're going to have to go for materials and you. That's the end of that book. Okay. Right, so it looks like we got as far as this book will take us. So, we now have to craft it into the second one. And I need to also... I want to have a copy of these books. Each of these books, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all about that. Get me to the... Uh, Thing, please, the recipes. Paper, cobble, bronze, steel. Come on, how do I make a seared tank? Because I'm going to need that. Is that not in here? Okay. Can we go to mighty smelting? Oh. Yeah, here we go. One seared tank. Fantastic. I wonder why it included the other stuff in the first book, but not this. Because surely you can't complete it without this. Anyway, one seared tank. 
So, how do we make a seared tank? There's the bricks. Yeah, smeltery drain. Oh yeah, we are going to need that, aren't we? Uh, and we're going to need a seared tank. So we need glass. Okay, I think I've got one piece of glass left. It's just normal glass, isn't it? It's not seared glass. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I think we can do that with what we've already got. Yeah, I've already got a sand in here so let's chuck that up there and get ourselves a piece of glass uh, and then back over here we can pop that in there and then we've got that one that can go down there and then we need a drain and we need uh, that's a casting channel how do we build a tap then all right, well, let's put this in place and then we can ditch this one for that one uh, and check the book again for the tap. Oh, okay, so it, it is the shape I had just with the, the corners missing. Cool. So one, two, three, and we got a tap. Uh, so we can pop that on there. And then we need uh, a thingy. Oh, that's not going to be enough. So we need to get some more gravel. Right, off we go. Right, I've got 12 more gravel. Uh, we've still got plenty of clay and I've got sand. Okay, so now we got sand, we got gravel, and we got clay. There it is. Uh, so we can get some of this, I don't know how much we actually need. So for now, let's do that uh, and let's cook up the grout. Okay, you were wrong, Kingy. You told me hostile mobs cannot cross this. Okay, so now we can make a casting table. We can pop that in the ground there, and we can smelt some things, uh, but we've got no things to smelt yet, so I guess the next thing is to go and find some things to smelt. Okay, so I found a cave hidden underneath the uh, rooms I was digging, so that's pretty cool. And there are zombies somewhere really... Ooh, it's a node. Really nearby, but I can't find them so far. Ha! <laughs> that... What the hell? What's... Ow! Okay, that's a wisp or something. I don't even know what that is. Jeez, I'm not equipped for this. Crikey, that made me jump right out of my chair, that did. There's a zombie, anyway. At least I can deal with you. Ow! No sneaking up when I'm dealing with other things. That's rude. That didn't sound nice. That really doesn't sound nice. Don't like that noise, that's scary. What are you? Show yourself. Maybe don't show yourself. I'm gonna run away. Um, yeah. That noise was not a good noise. We have got some iron finally. That's 
very handy. And there is a slime somewhere. So this bit's already lit up. I just blocked off uh, the pathway down here, or the water down here, so that I can get to this. And I've found some uh, diamond. So I think we will. Uh, let's get rid of the rotten flesh. I don't think we need that. Um, so that we can pick up the diamond. There's only one. Great. <laughs> Never mind, not to worry. Uh, but we've got a bucket of lava now and uh, some stuff to smelt. So we will head on back up. I'll probably collect a little bit more stuff. Uh, silver. Why not grab a bit of silver? Because uh, we don't have any space, that's why. Uh, let's ditch the andesite. What's this? Lead. Uh, I don't know what I actually need. I guess it's copper and tin. There is a lot of silver around. We'll take the tin with us though. Nice. Critical. Yeah, we'll get ourselves back up to the smeltery, get some things cooking, uh, and then we can get started with our uh, quest to improve. Okay, so uh, in the words of Jefferson, a little about do it for today. Um, <laughs> Is he Kermit the Frog? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, old Jefferson here. <laughs> Kermit the Frog here. Uh, the second voice you can hear is uh, Pixelriffs. Hello, Hello. Pixel Riffs. Hi, how you doing? But uh, you can't hear him. I am like, the ghost of Pixel Riffs. You Ooh. can't see him because he's actually in my house. I've, come, so... I've come to haunt your smeltery. <laughs> so there is only. Uh, one computer at the moment. Just the one, yes. So it's just me, but yeah, I ought to show you this. You haven't seen this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So show me, show me around. Yeah, so I'm living in the mountain, as yeah, you can the see. Mountain. King and under the mountain, or sort of in the mountain. Um, got some <laughs> visitors coming up the oh, stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Better um, avoid him. Yeah, next to your spirit of the fire mountain. Ah, yes. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> me on the inside. That's the best way to do that. Um, it's Mr. S uh, Mr. Stevens coming up to yeah. uh, check on things. <laughs> To your landlord. Uh, so yeah, I've uh, got myself a little smeltery going, which I've only just done. Oh, good stuff. And I'm going to be doing some other stuff inside the mountain, I think. Ah, you're, you're not competing um, with B-Ran, are you? I've seen his cave. Yeah, I actually found it. I went down there oh, did you? <laughs> and bumped into it. So. Yeah. Well, if, if it's anything like the last DN server, he doesn't mind sharing the space, so no. uh, I think he'll be all right with that. No, it's all good. I, in fact, everything that I've taken from he hadn't discovered yet anyway mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so you you shouldn't be mentioning it then <laughs> everything I've taken from you you didn't know you had <laughs> exactly ha -ha. <laughs> yeah so I just kind of happened to bump into an adjoining cave that, that uh, was already lit up yeah, and, yeah. Us together. But yeah it's quite interesting that we, it goes all the way up and round down to there yeah yeah um, well it's a big old mountain so I yeah. think there's enough space for everybody to share it that yeah. wants to so. anyway the purpose of today's episode was to get this smeltery up and running. And <laughs> Which took is... us nine episodes of the last season, so yeah. you're already uh, <laughs> doing well there, I think. Already well ahead. Actually, I think I only made like three episodes total oh, did you? the well, last yeah, season. It was, <laughs> it was about episode six or seven of mine, so yeah, I assume you were something like that. around that vicinity. Um, but anyway, hopefully do better this time and maybe have more than three episodes. Um, the extra people on the server will probably help to encourage that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's done. So next time we will probably look at making some tools and stuff. And then we can get to work on the big plans I have for the inside of Fire Mountain. Mm, looking forward to it. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for saying goodbye to people with me. So say goodbye to people. Goodbye to people. See you later.